Hi there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters. So I'm going to get started on these what sold on eBay videos again. And I know I haven't been posting them for several months, but I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to go back as far as I can, which is February of this year, 2018. And I'm going to rapid fire through some of my better sales in February. And then I'll do the same thing with March and April to get caught up. And then I'll try to start posting them every week or so, maybe every two weeks. We'll see how it goes. We're getting ready to start traveling here pretty soon, so I'm not sure how consistent I'll be, but I'll definitely try to do at least every two weeks a new video on what sold on eBay. Get those going again. Okay, here, so here's the spreadsheet that I use. Um, I enjoy inputting my own sales and all my information, and so I just use this spreadsheet. And if you are interested in using this spreadsheet, I do have it available for download. And there's a video on my channel about it, how to use it, how to download it, and everything. So you can look that up. I'll link to it in the in the description too, so you can you can look that up if you want if you're interested. Okay, so I had 34 sales, and I'm going to show you. Um, the profit is $1,043. My average profit was $30.68. PayPal fees were $48.51. eBay fees were $111. So I'm going to go through these items that you see listed here and, and just talk about them real briefly. And I'm going to blow through them pretty fast. So let's get started. Okay, first item up to show you is this Vintage Light Bright. I love finding these. I think this is like the third one that I've sold. I've bought it for $2.50 at a thrift store. I sold it for $29.95, so I profited $22.57. And they're real easy to find usually. Um, this one had pegs, it had all the patterns. Um, most of them were used, but there was a few that weren't. And it had the box and everything, so that's nice. All right, next. This is a pair of Dolce & Gabbana eyeglasses. Um, let's see, these were a gift to me actually from a YouTube subscriber that sent me a bunch of eyeglasses. So that was super sweet. Um, so all I paid for on these was a dollar for the eyeglass case that I included with them. So they sold for $129.95 and after eBay fees and PayPal fees and all that, my profit was $113.60. So thank you to my YouTube subscriber who sent me those. I'm her name is Cindy. She's super sweet. Okay, next. This is a pair of Silhouette Rimless Hingeless Eyeglasses. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know I love finding these. I find them pretty frequently. I've probably sold at least a dozen pair of these eyeglasses, and they always sell really well. These I paid $3 for at a thrift store. They sold for $50. So after all the eBay fees and everything, my profit was $41.25. But they do have a case to go with them. And also I wanted to say real quick, if you find any of these silhouette cases, always pick them up because they sell for at least $20 by themselves. These are always good to find. These little flip magnetic cases, these little silhouette cases. All right, next. This is a pair of Vogue eyeglasses. These were also a gift from my brother who picked up a bunch of eyeglasses and then decided he didn't want to mess with them, so he gave them all to me. So these cost me nothing, um, except for the eyeglass case, which was a dollar, and I took a best offer of $20 for these. So after everything, my profit was $17.97. Here is a pair of antique spectacles. Um, these were just a wire rim, silver tone, um, frame. I paid $3 for these at a thrift store. They sold for $49.95, so my profit was $42.33. And I love finding these antique glasses because they always do sell really well. I think they're really fun to list. Okay, so here is a book. Um, I picked up, I think it was 12 of these. They're called Easton Press, and they're just these really fancy books. Let's see if I can find a picture. Anyways, they were all like new, and it, what it is is it's one of those, um, you know those book clubs where you subscribe and then they send you a new book every month and you just pay the monthly fee? That's what basically what this Easton Press um, is, and these were just beautiful books. I paid $4 each for them. Like I said, I picked up 12 of them. They all sold within a couple months. Um, this one right here is Uncle Tom's Cabin. 
it sold for twenty ninety five. So my profit was thirteen sixty six. I've got a couple more here to show you as well. There's Scarlet Letter, which sold for fifteen ninety five. So my profit was nine forty nine. And then the tell of Guy de Maupassant, I believe is how you say that. This one sold for seventeen ninety five, and my profit was ten fifty. So overall, I bought twelve of them. No, I bought 11 of them for $4 each, and my profit total was $144. So it was a good, it was a good buy. Um, I kind of stressed a little bit about it because they're kind of big and heavy, and I had a whole bunch of them, and I don't have a lot of room. So I priced them kind of low, actually. The cheapest one that I sold was $12.95. I sold a couple for $12.95. The best one I sold was $32.95, which was Moby Dick. And then the rest of them were kind of in between there, so... I kind of stressed a little bit because I thought they weren't going to sell and I, I priced them low, but they actually ended up selling really well and they're all gone within a couple months. So that was actually a pretty good find. Okay, so these are uh, just a set of six brass drawer pulls. I love finding these. I paid $1.50 for all of these at a thrift store. They're just, sometimes they have them in bags. Sometimes you have to dig through buckets. Um, but I like finding these things. This set... Let's see, they sold for $24.95 plus shipping, so my profit on these was $21.75. Alright, so here's a little Knights of Columbus um, lapel pin. Um, it did have some 14 karat gold on it. It wasn't all 14 karat gold, but it was marked on the back, 14 karat. Um, so that one, I paid 50 cents for that. And I... Bought it at a thrift store, sold it for $24.95, so my profit was $20.44. Okay, this is a vintage Yves St. Laurent knick tie. I paid a dollar for this at a thrift store. I love doing knick ties. Um, they don't always sell for a whole lot, but they're easy to list, they're easy to store, they're easy to ship. I don't have a lot of room in my RV, so. I like doing knick ties. I like collecting them. Sometimes I, I find knick ties itself for a lot. Um, I recently sold one. Um, let's see. I sold a Briani knick tie for $75 on Poshmark if, about a week ago. So sometimes you do make some money on them. This one wasn't the best, but um, $17.95 and my profit was $15.03, so not terrible. And then here's another one, which is a polo golfer tie. And this one, let's see, I have on here that it sold for $14.95, so maybe I took a best offer on that one. Um, I paid $2 for it at a thrift store, and my profit was $11.24. Okay, so more eyeglasses. This is a pair of Ray-Ban prescription eyeglasses. I bought them for $3, including the case, at a thrift store. I took a best offer of $35, shipped them to Italy, and my profit ended up being $26.56. And here's a pair of Gant Rugger prescription eyeglasses. I got these in a lot on eBay. Let's see. So these I paid $1.75 for. They sold for $29.95. And my profit was $20.71. And the brand name on that is Gant Rugger. Gant. And this is a pair of iTel prescription eyeglasses. These came from, uh, these were also a gift from my previous pastor. He gave me a whole big box of eyeglasses that he didn't want to mess with. Um, so that's where these came from. And you can see the name kind of there, iTel. These sold for $24.95, so my profit was $18.07. So this is a pair of Amber Vision eyeglasses. These were one of those as sold on TV kind of things. And I found them in a lot, I believe. I'm not sure where they came from. But they sold for $17.95 plus shipping, and I made $12.75. Alright, here is a pair of Giorgio Armani sunglasses. These are not prescription, just regular sunglasses. These I found also in an eBay lot. And they were in really nice condition. Very pretty. You can see the name there. As well as... No, not there. There. 
So very nice um, Giorgio Armani sunglasses. I paid about $3 for these. I took a best offer on these for $70 plus shipping. So my profit was $59.11. This is a pair of Coach eyeglasses. I paid $3 for these at a thrift store. They sold for $20 best offer and my profit was $14.76. And there you can see the Coach is kind of rubbed off but they were definitely Coach. You can see the, the logo there. All right, and then this is a pair of Oscar de la Renta. I paid 75 cents for these, also in a lot that I bought online. Took a best offer of $20, so my profit was $14.83. And these are prescription sunglasses. Okay, and here is a pair of Chesterfield also prescription sunglasses. These I found at a thrift store for $2. I had a case to go with them. It's kind of blurry picture of it. I did have a Chesterfield case. And let's see, there's the name. So these, like I said, I paid $2 for at a thrift store. I took a best offer of $25.50 on these. And they sold, or my profit was $20.52. All right, here's another pair of Dolce & Gabbana. These I found at a thrift store for $3 in a bin full of junk sunglasses and eyeglasses and reader glasses. You just gotta dig. Um, these are really nice condition. There you go. Dolce & Gabbana there and there. So these I took a best offer for $50 and my profit was $34.97. All right, moving on to some other things other than eyeglasses. <laughs> All right, this is a pair of Brookstone wireless headphones. I found these at a thrift store for $4. They sold for $29.95, so my profit was $19.47. And here is a vintage Panasonic flip number clock. I'm always checking the radio aisle for this these kind of clocks and I think this is the only one I've ever found <laughs> but it sold um, let's see I paid four dollars for it at a Goodwill and it sold for $59.95 shipped it to Russia so my profit ended up being forty three dollars and two cents and it still had the little tag on it, it was pretty cool I was excited to find it it was really neat okay here is an Oliver Peoples empty eyeglass case and I also just recently sold another one that I found at a thrift store. Same thing, same price, $30. So if you ever see these Oliver People eyeglass cases, always grab them up because they always sell. Oliver People's. And you can see that this is the Oliver People's logo if you're not familiar with it. Ah, there you go. The two circles, the two triangles, and the two squares. So anyways, I sold that for $30 and my profit was $26.31. All right, so um, I've got a couple Bibles to show you. This one is um, one of the original, well, it's not original, but it's the original text from the AV 1611, if anybody, if you're familiar with, with Bibles. I love Bibles. I always collect them and, and buy them up whenever I find them. I had somebody comment once that, you know, I was this horrible person because I was peddling the Bible. And um, I don't know. I don't agree with that because... You know, people are looking for them, and I don't see any reason why we shouldn't sell them. I mean, if you're going to call me a peddler of the Bible, you can call Goodwill a peddler of the Bible, too, because that's where I bought it. But, um, so yeah, I flip Bibles all the time. I love finding them. I love having them in my house. I love reading them, smelling them, everything. So, I don't know. I don't see any, anything wrong with it. There's tons of Bibles on eBay for sale, and... I only I like to sell the the King James versions like the older ones those are my favorite I don't like to really sell any of the other Bibles it's usually the only ones that I look for but this one sold literally overnight um, it was in really nice condition and I don't know did I know what year it was there was no date but I was I did some research and found out that it was somewhere between 1935 and 1950. So that's where this this Bible came from. I don't know. I like selling them. And they sell well. This one, 
like I said, I sold for $50. I paid $2 for it at the thrift store. It gave me a profit of $37.91. Here's another one. This is a 1972 Nelson reference Bible. Um, really nice condition as well, almost like brand new. Bibles are expensive. These, these nice reference study Bibles and things, they're expensive. People are willing to pay for them, especially the older ones. Um, this one I paid $4 for at a thrift store and it sold for $60 plus shipping and my profit was $48.87. Okay, so this is, um, I always look for like faucets and shower heads and things like that that are in the box, like kitchen faucets or bathroom faucets or shower faucets. Um, and once in a while, like this one, I found it was not complete. So the, the box was there and there was lots of pieces, but somebody had taken out just like the shower head and, you know, a few different things that they wanted and everything else was just left, but it was all brand new. So I just sold them individually and I made a pretty good profit off of the box. I think I ended up paying, I think it was like seven or eight dollars for the box of stuff. This was one of the pieces I sold. It sold for thirty dollars. I estimated that I paid about two dollars for it based on how many things were in there. So my profit was twenty four dollars and eighty eight cents. And I just took stock photos. I didn't even take pictures of them or anything. I just put the model number that was on the box and all the information and that's all I did. Super easy. And they all sold really quick too. All the pieces did. Okay, so here is a, this is from a GMC Sierra um, tail lamp. This I found, um, my husband did um, auto body work when he was alive. And so when I went back to Colorado in November and emptied out my storage unit, I had a whole bunch of auto parts and miscellaneous things in there. And so I brought some of those back with me. And so this was one of the things that I listed and um, so it didn't really cost me anything. I don't know where it came from. It was just in our storage unit. And I'm sure it cost us something somewhere, but I have no idea. So anyways, I sold it for $35 plus shipping. So based on zero cost, my, pri my profit was $30.94. And if you find these, sometimes I find these even at thrift stores and stuff even, and I, I pick them up because, you know, auto parts, depending on what they are, they sell really well and you can always look up the um, I don't have a good picture on here but on the backs of them etched in the plastic usually or the metal or whatever they are um, is a model number and you can just look that up even on just eBay sold items and and you can tell if it's gonna be worth something or not pretty easily okay and this is just a Penlin pewter plate and I'll show you the name if I can see it. There it is. It just, it's etched. It says Pinland Pewter. And I got this in a lot from an estate sale. It was just in a box of miscellaneous things. Um, so I listed it. It sold for $20 plus shipping. So my profit on that, I estimated that I paid a dollar, about a dollar for it. So my profit was $18.32. I had two decent bonanza sales in February. I don't make a lot of bonanza sales. It's, it just seems to be getting worse and worse, but it's pretty brainless because what you can do is if you're not familiar with bonanza, it's another website for selling on looks like that. And, um, and you can automatically have your listings import from eBay and you really don't have to do anything else. It's just kind of all automatic. So I do it. And if you're interested in it, there's a YouTube video someplace on my channel about it and you can go there and follow that link and set up your store but anyways so I did sell two of these Easton books that I was talking about earlier on Bonanza so this one was called the Jungle Books and it sold for $20.95 plus shipping so after everything my profit was $12.72 and then here's the best one that I sold which was Moby Dick sold for $33 so my profit was $26.73 on that one and they're just they were just really pretty books and they were all like perfect condition they even had the little little um card I, th I think it's like a little sticker that you could put in the front you could put your name on it they all had that in there 
and they were really easy to list because once I did one listing, it was just like changing the title and the colors and it was just super easy. So I'm glad I picked those up. Okay, and so I'm going to go over just a couple things that I like to find that I sell on Craigslist, or at least this time I did. Um, this is an eBay listing because I had it listed on eBay, but I also had it listed on Craigslist and it sold on Craigslist first, so then I just removed the listing. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you this just because the pictures are all there and everything. So what this is, is it's called a Champion Juicer. If you're not familiar with these, they're really nice, like commercial grade juicers and I think this is the third or fourth one that I've sold they're very heavy and that's what they look like if you find them at a thrift store pick them up because they sell even if you just have the motor in like this you can sell this piece alone for 40 or 50 dollars let's see I paid 40 dollars for it at a thrift store I sold it on Craigslist for 125 dollars cash so my profit was about 85 dollars I did drive a little ways to kind of help deliver it because they were coming from Phoenix and so I drove out to the interstate to meet them so take five dollars off or whatever for gas so I, I figure I made about 80 bucks selling that guy and it was in really nice condition it had all the attachments so be on the lookout for the champion juicer machine if you see it you might not even know what it is because they're just odd looking <laughs> And then the other thing I wanted to discuss, oh, here we go. So this is my Craigslist ad, um, is these Dawn Joy Icemen. Now, I sell these on Craigslist just because you're not supposed to sell them on eBay. I think Dawn Joy has, you know, whatever it is with agreement with eBay that if you put the listing on eBay, they'll remove it because you're not supposed to sell them unless you have a medical license, apparently. But I sell them on Craigslist all the time. I think I've sold probably five or six of these because I think what happens is people get them through their insurance from hospitals and then they just drop them off at the thrift stores or whatever when they're done. So I pick them up at yard sales, thrift stores, all the time. I think I've probably sold, I would say six or seven of these in the last couple years. And so they just look like a little ice chest and you want to check and make sure they have these these pads and these little um they, they have velcro on them and they're stretchy so that you can attach the the pad to your shoulder or your knee or whatever there's different pads that look different but make sure they have the power cord of course and then you can just plug them in and make sure that they get cold but they're pretty cool they sell really fast. I never have a problem selling these. So I sold two of those actually in February on Craigslist. I paid $8 for one of them at a Goodwill and sold it for $60. So my profit was $52. And then the other one I bought at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for $60 as well on Craigslist. So my profit was $55. I guess that's it. So I'm going to wrap this up and get it posted. So thanks again for watching my videos. I love you and take care.